Hello, welcome to Big Brother Friday Night Live. Tonight, space, the final frontier. We've had two housemates ejected this past week, which means our 10 happy housemates are just over there, raring to go for tonight's Friday Night Live games. They have no idea what's in store for them. I'm so excited I could blast off. I think you already have, Mikey. Are you into astronomy? Actually, I am. Yeah. I'm a Libran. I like long walks along the beach. Oh, I'm very well natured. That's what I thought. Beam us up, Bree. Welcome to Big Brother Friday Night Live, the weekly show the housemates would swap a kidney for. There's a space theme to tonight's show for two reasons. One, in five days, NASA launches the space mission Discovery and on board is mission specialist Andy Thomas from Adelaide, Australia. Yes! yes. What a legend! Two, the bad, bad size, bad side, bad side of it is. Number two, we didn't know until it was too late that it's actually pronounced Uranus these days. That's no fun. That's no good. Anyway, with me tonight is the man that's so large, he has his own gravitational field that pulls in comets, asteroids and the occasional hot babe. It's Ryan Fitzy Fitzgerald. Give yourself a clap. There you go. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, guys. Uh, pleasure to be here, Mike. Look, really looking forward to the space night tonight. And our own heavenly body featuring real proton torpedoes, Brie Aimer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome along. Good to see you guys once again. Now, b- before we get going with tonight's show, I just wanted to bring your attention to a picture that one of our viewers sent in. It's just outside Brisbane. What's with this, Fitzy? What's going on? I thought your house was in Adelaide. Yeah, well, look, if it was in Adelaide, uh, Mikey, there'd be Coopers up the top there. But I like to label everything that I own. Oh, you've labelled that. So I've got about 24 houses around Australia, and that's one of them. It said free wedding functions on that. You're getting married, mate? Yeah, shotgun Ooh. wedding. Shotgun weddings, oh. just rock up and we'll get you married. Oh, good luck with the wedding. We'll, Hope hit, we... you, we'll hit you up. Hope we get an invite. Don't take it away from us when you give it to us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Bree, your favourite moment from last week? Oh, there were so many of it. Like, without fail, there's nothing funnier than people falling over and injuring themselves, as yeah. we know. And so we thought we'd make it into a game. So the, the fan, the big win machine last night, uh, last week was great. So have a look at it. OK. <laughs> absolutely awesome. That was, that was like one of the best that finals. That was right. so good. And with the opera music as well. I Thank know, you. I, I chose that myself, actually. It, it's um, Cosy something tutti. I thought it was you singing. No. Oh, okay. Oh, Cosy fan tutti, it's called. Cosy <laughs> fan tutti. Yeah, right, right. I think I've seen him in concert. Okay, Fitzy, your favourite moment from last week? Well, for me, there were very numerous humorous bits from last <laughs> week, but Melanie running into the wall was hilarious. Have a look yeah. at this little fella. Run as fast as you can. Go as fast as you can. Run, 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 run. Keep running, keep running. Go, 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 go. Really well. <laughs> Slow mo. Have a look at this. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> she broke her nose there, I think. Tim was like a crash. What about hot dogs' as directions? Don't Just keep direction going. Keep going. Right to the wall. going. All right. Well, in those '50s sci-fi movies, aliens who landed on Earth would point their guns and say, "Take me to your leader." If that happened today, they'd more likely say, "Take us to your rewards room." Tell us, Fitzy. That was amazing how you did that, first of all, Mike. Well done on that. Uh, The world-famous rewards room. Uh, Let's have a look at it now. It's an amazing room. You've got free food, booze... And nice. we've got a space theme this week. So we've got space food sticks. Oh. The predators in space there. Space food sticks. Yeah, the, the food of tomorrow, but we're eating it today. Alf. Remember Alf? Had his own TV show. He's in there. He, the one that eats the cat. Yes. Is that him there? Yeah, he's looking <laughs> for a bit of action. He's inside Alf. No wow. problem. Oh, how good does that look? <laughs> 
So it's looking amazing tonight. And that's what they're all vying for, Mike. They want it. They're they hungry. want it bad. And the uh, the second part of the winner's prize, Bree, the ability to hand oh. out household chores. You yes. do it at your house, so they, oh, explain it here. Apparently. And don't they just hate it? Well, Vesna um, scored the job of the farmhand this week, which mm. we all know she absolutely she loves. hates it. Yeah, and she was actually went into the diary room this week and said she was having impure thoughts about the alpaca <laughs> and that she wanted to turn him into an item of clothing. How many oh, is that? That's She's not a bit rough good with yeah. farm animals. It'd be a warm jacket, though. You don't tip <laughs> and then, of course, we had Rita, mm -hmm. who was um, assigned the housekeeper, mm -hmm. which is funny because everyone was saying that that was the reason they kept her in the house was because she was could clean, so they're obviously putting her to good use. Mm. Nurse Rita and Christy, mm. the baker, for the first time ever. I know. And, and being called lazy this week as well by... How did she get away? Eight, with going to eat week eight without ever making a loaf of oh, bread. Look, don't bring up oh. Dibba Dobba Christie to me. It's, it's an easy, easy really job. Off we'll, talk about, we'll talk about her in a minute. The last part of the prize and the one that really makes a deep impact is the three-point rule where the winner can take three nomination points off any of the nominees. All the housemates want to win that power and they've been building up to tonight. But some of them might be carrying some injuries. Fitzy's going to tell you who's been saying, Houston, we have a problem. Merci, Mike. I think that's French for thank you, Mikey. First up, we've got Logan David. Now, he's carrying a trombone-related mouth ulcer injury. It's hung around since the school task. So if there's anything to do with jam and salt and vinegar chips in his north and south tonight, he's going to cop some pain. Next up is poor Melanie. Get this. Melanie is allergic to yeast, so she can't eat bread, pasta or biscuits, which is really all there is in the house, so she's living on rocks and the pool water. That's her diet. She actually ate something during the week with yeast in it, and it made her guts churn, so there'll be no rides at Dreamworld for Melanie tonight. Finally, we have Dibba Dobba Christie. Christy is freaking out because she reckons she's losing her Yogi Bear. And we know how she feels, don't we, Mikey? Huh. But let me give you that tip. She should stop her whinging, I reckon, because it will drastically reduce her drag if wind resistance is an issue tonight. So we could still see her hold up the trophy, even if it means she looks like Peter Garrett. <laughs> She's still a big chance, Mikey. Still a big chance. <laughs> she, when she comes out of the house and, and sees what you've been doing to her pictures. And that's coming from two blokes that are going bald themselves. <laughs> I know. Can, can we get some sort of sponsorship deal going for here, please? <laughs> uh, look, there's the housemates down there getting ready. Apparently Hot Dogs was doing laps of the backyard only a few minutes ago, psyching himself up. And get this, guys. He even went to the diary room and has started uh, demanding from Big Brother what he wants in the reward room tonight. He's, he's requested no seafood, certain types of alcohol. So he thinks he's a sure thing to win. Oh, and do we think he's a sure thing to win? Oh, the no. poor guy. He's just begging for it every week and he hasn't won it as yet. OK, well, I reckon uh, we'll shoot back down very shortly. Don't leave the airlock because after the break we'll be ready for liftoff. This is Big Brother Friday Night Live. I, um, I, I want to win so bad, Big Brother. I want to win so bad. I can't, I can't believe I've been here for this long and haven't... I had one chance, I had one look in, and I got done by Michelle. I, I visualised it quite a bit. Not during yoga, but I have visualised myself winning and holding the trophy. Yes, yes. But yeah, no, I think I think I'll win tonight. I, I mean, I, yeah, I just I want to win. I want to win. See, that's spectacular. Are, are you still competing? Actually, funny you should say that, Mike. The National Calisthenics and Jazz Ballet Championships are coming up on August the 18th. So uh, get on down there and support the, and, and Bri, the girls in one bloke. I didn't know you could do the splits. I know. And Can I you do that for us now on the table? Yeah. I still can't get a boyfriend. What's oh, that? Well, we, we could do a, uh, a phone-in now if you like. No. No, that's a whole new show. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live. Helping me speed through tonight's space theme is cosmonaut Bri Amer and space cadet Fitzy. The man who thought you'd get asteroids from sitting on cold brick walls. 
I was going to say something then, but I'm not going to now. <laughs> I'm not going to go through with it. Please. Thanks for that, Mike. Anyway, oh. yeah, just oh. continue. Well, I feel the ripple in the force, which means it's time to go down to the house. Can you help me? This is Big Brother. All housemates to the garden immediately. Housemates stand on the white line. Logans, as you are considered one person, you must decide who is competing in tonight's games. Oh, I should be competing. <laughs> Logan David is king. Logan David. Logan Greg, you will be a spectator. Stand by the silver doors now. Greg, you are the resident Greg. Oh, Greg. Oh. <laughs> Housemates. <laughs> Form three teams now, then move to the yellow line facing the tables. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, form three form teams. Form three teams. Okay. Last three. Oh. Okay, Millie. Okay, okay, we'll go. Me, Vess, and, okay. and Rita. Yeah, that's. Fine team. Oh, mate. Right? This is the team that's just. We can. It's so good. You've got to blow balloons or something. Where do we go? What are we doing? Well, Vess is going to kill this one. She's full of. Stand here. behind the yellow line. Oh. Behind it, guys. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh. <laughs> Before you enter the arena, you must decide the order of play. On each table in front of you is a balloon. One player from each team must blow the balloon up until it bursts. The player who takes the longest will play first. Quickest will play last. One player from each team step forward and prepare to blow on the start signal. This is Big Brother Housemates. It's time to enter the arena. Oh my god. Like the full moon. Like the full moon. Can I do that? Oh, First team to the green zone. Second team to the red zone. Third team to the blue zone. Housemates, tonight you're playing for three prizes. The rewards room, the authority to allocate household chores, and the power to change nominations. You will begin as teams, but there will be only one winner. That is all. <laughs> How's poor old Billy Ray hot dogs? Yeah, oh. he's psyching himself up. He's just got no hope, no chance of winning. Is he a no-hoper tonight, do you think, guys? Yeah. Don't write him off. No? Why not? I say that every week Come and he on. loses consistently. Tell us, how's the teamwork going to go tonight? Team 1, David, Christy, Kate. Team 2, Dean, Rita, Investor. Team 3, Dogs, Tim and Melanie. What oh. do you reckon, Bree? Well, it's quite obvious that Christy and Kate will work together very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yes. no chance, although I would probably back them to win. Yeah, Really? Yeah. Well, Christy and Kate aren't the best of friends at the moment. Actually, Christy said that she doesn't like prissy princesses at all. Actually, she says she hates them. Mm. 
Mm. That's all she calls Very strong her. word. Well, it'll be interesting. All right, so they're in teams of three. While they're waiting to hear what the first round is, Bree, you've got a big bang theory about who's going to be one of the star performers tonight, haven't you? I don't know about a big bang, but I've got a theory. OK, let's hear it. Now, every week, Christy consistently not only hurts herself and entertains us greatly, mm-hmm. but she always makes it to the uh, semi-finals. She like, does. You know, just before the last round, mm-hmm. all the time. But she's actually a really, really good performer every Friday night, and I don't understand why she gets knocked out just before the finals. She's got a bit of hot dog syndrome, I think. Hot dog syndrome, as mm. well as Christy. Well, we will see. And how are they looking down there at the moment in the house? Looking all right? OK, I can see the housemates have got their space suits on. So let's bounce on down to the Games Arena. This is Big Brother. Housemates, this is an orb-busting relay. Player one will burst the first line of orbs, then tag player two, who will burst the second line, then tag player three, who will burst the third line. The race is over when the last orb is burst. The fastest two teams to burst all their orbs go through to the next round. Housemates, you must only use your stomach or bottom to burst the orbs. You must not use any other body part. Prepare to race. Good work, Timmy. <laughs> Look at him, he is competitive, the little tagger. He's like a rabbit. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, Melanie. <laughs> this is where you've just got no. to throw everything into it, Mikey. You're not going to do two at the same time. That's impossible. You've got to put all of your weight into it. Only your chest or bottom. <laughs> she just threw herself at the floor then, was it? She's upset. Go, dogs! Look, oh, oh, a bit of chin on the ground then. his face off, then. Now, now the, the actual, the good way to do this, it's all about how evenly you distribute your weight on top of the balloon. <laughs> he should maybe use his own hot dog to pop it in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad time, Mikey. It's good. This is Big Brother. Return to the green zone. Dean's team, take your positions. Good take yeah, not bad there. Mm. I reckon uh, pretty good performance. They just flew through that. There wasn't really a lot of stuff ups there at all. And uh, a nice big team hug there at the end between Tim and the dogs. Both very pumped, very, both very psyched up and ready to go. All right, well, we've achieved es- escape velocity and uh, I'll just fix my tongue up. Right. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we're up and running. Melanie, Hot Dogs and Tim burst their orbs in 50 seconds. But there are two more teams to go. Join us after the break to see how they do. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Nanu Nanu, you're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live where we've just jettisoned the second stage of our space-themed night and we're on course for the winning planet. I'm Mike Goldman and with me our shooting star, Brie Aimer. Oh, and dog star Fitzy. I so, hear, yes. What breed of dog would I be then, Mike? I oh, don't know, a bull you'd terrier? Be, you'd be a pug. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Anyway, keep going, sorry. <laughs> OK, uh, have a little look down there in the uh, the games arena and you'll see that uh, Hot Dogs has just customised his space suit. Well, he probably didn't mean to. It's got a big split right down the middle of the pants, uh, which uh, could cause him some damage if look, he's not too they, careful they of like it later giant, on. giant Tic Tacs. He's got a Cathy Freeman suit on, like, in the Olympics as well. <laughs> so who are our top three competitors tonight, guys? Uh, I'm, gonna, three. I'm gonna definitely go with David, Christie, and Kate. Mm-hmm. I just think they've got the stronger um, athletic to get through to the final rounds yes. or get through here at least well, anyway. We're talking about competitive. What about that bloke? Hot dogs. Oh, look, I refuse to back him because if you were betting on Centibet or something, you'd lose your money. Yeah, okay. And we're still checking out the new girls too, Melanie and Viz uh, sorry, Melanie and Rita. I think yes. they're pretty competitive yeah. themselves. Melanie too. has been talking all afternoon about how she thinks she's going to win tonight. 
Well, I hope she does. Mm, mm, well, we'll see. Captain's log. Melanie, Hot Dogs and Tim, uh, they've set the time to beat in the ore burst. Now it's Dean, Rita and Vesna and Logan, David and Christy and Kate. It's their turn as well. Let's put on the retros and make a controlled descent into the game's arena. This is Big Brother. Only the fastest two teams go through to the next round. Dean's team, prepare to race. Come on, Dino. Come on, Dean. Oh, oh. You may not use your hands. Oh, bit of claret there. Good oh. start by Dean. You may not use your hands. Oh, oh that was a hand. That's a bum. Oh, hey. Oh, what happened oh. to the oh, She's had a blowout. Oh, no. <laughs> she, she's... <laughs> She's out of blow it. Get the puncher kid out. <laughs> Don't <laughs> roll, Vesna. underneath that. That's oh, it. Oh, whoops. Oh, that is Go, Vesna. That is every girl's yes. worst nightmare. Where, where's a jacket when you need it? Oh, look at that. That's a good effort. Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh. That That's it, Vesna. Throw yourself into it. Can I get these suits at a discounted rate or what? <laughs> 50% off the material. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. Dean's team return to the red zone. Logan David's team, take your positions. <laughs> well, they're pretty quick and they're pretty fired up there. Uh, Vesna, Rita and Dean. <laughs> Those suits just aren't holding up at all. That was not real. Well, they're actually uh, a space fibre material that is supposed to be able to with withstand anything. So, I, imagine if you like stepped out onto the moon and it disintegrated. Well, we, speaking of the uh, the split, we've got Rita uh, splitting her pants in the replay. Yeah, but look, this is how it happened. Oh, oh no. no! It's the explosion oh. of the balloon yeah, look that, that did it. Get Grandma to get the knitting needles out for that one. I tell you, fifty-five seconds, pretty good time. Did it beat yeah, the time good. before? I'm li I've lost track. Oh, this... Too slow, Mike. No. Good effort, as you said, but too slow. Five mm, seconds, too five slow. Five seconds mm. off. So let's see how they go. Let's go back down to the games arena for the last heat of the orb bursting space race. Try and be competitive. This Kat. is Big Brother. Logan David's team prepare to race. Let's go, Christy. Come on, Christy. 55 seconds, the, the time to beat, guys. And good start, by little Christy. Yep. Christy's going great. She's, I told you, she's a great competitor. She wants it. Oh, well done, Kate. That's what you... You've got to just throw your body in there, don't you, guys? She's a bit slow on the changes. Keep going, Kate! This is a competition, Kate! 50-50 balls. Body for the team. Oh, she's... Accidental. Oh! It was accidental. Have a look at the Wagga Wagga boy. Oh! Bit of break dancing. Oh! Well done, Jackie. Good time. Logan David coming home there. The Kate and Christy. Yeah, they would have been. This is Big Brother. Logan David's team return to the blue zone and wait for the results. I think so. Very close. Well, there you go. What do you think of that? They're Fantastic. true. Well done. Nice effort. OK, so uh, what, do, what do you think about that so far? They're pretty determined efforts there I, from I all think three they teams. They deserve extra points for not splitting any pants. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> the only definitely. team so far not to reveal their bottom. OK, well, let's go back down for the results. What happened to it? <laughs> this is Big Brother. Hot Dogs team, you completed the course in 50 seconds. 50 Ooh. seconds? That's pretty really good. Close. High five. Dean's team, you completed the course in 55 seconds. Yes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Five seconds, isn't it? Logan David's team, you completed the course in 40 seconds. Hot Dogs. <laughs> Logan David's team, you are through to the next round. Okay. Dean's team, you are out of tonight's games. Stand next to Logan Gregg. Come, Katie. Come, my people. Welcome to Moland. Yeah, you guys work. Winner. You must split yourselves into three teams of two and stand on a different coloured zone now. We're on red. Um, he's went far. There's two or three of them. 
Oh, it doesn't hold things in. No. Take it out. Oh, is that right? Stole our colour, did you? It's all right. I wonder why I put the earring on. I've put it over the things in so well. Oh, it's like... Yeah, I was zooming in. The camera were all laughing. No, oh, nice to see uh, a few of the arch enemies through there. We've got uh, mm. Kate and Christy. They'll yes. be at each other's throats a little later on. Hot dogs and Mel, Tim and Kate, and Christy and David, mm. who will be through. It's going to be close, I think. Mm, let's hope the next round isn't boxing, because after this week. Well, you never know. Well, the housemates are down there rocking and rare, ready to go. Stand by. We've got a uh, short break right now. When we come back, we're shifting into hyperspace, or as it's better known, round two. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Mr. Big Brother you are. Welcome you are. Mm. Tonight's theme is Outer Space. I'm Mike Goldman, joined by Earth Girl, Brie Amer, mm -hmm. and extraterrestrial, Fitzy. In the break, Fitzy was showing us his gimbals. What? I was, no, I said I like playing pocket gimbal. Oh, OK. Well, don't worry, a group of astronomers are currently studying them and will be releasing photos <laughs> on their website in the spring. Excellent. OK, it's about week, week eight at the moment and uh, the prize money is down to $665,000. Oh. One dollar of the number of the beast, the evil number. Is it really? Yes. 335000 bucks in fines. You're good with maths. Did you just add that up in your head? No, I've got a calculator watch. Oh, nice work. <laughs> so, you guys know this. Getting to week eight in the show, Yes. do you start thinking about the money? Do you think, you know, I'm going to win um, this? Or what is it? Well, it was different for us because we found out around week eight that it was actually the million. We didn't know. Oh, yeah. Remember, it was a big surprise. But mm. um, I do think that it was around that time too that it kind of really sunk home for me. And, like, I, I remember saying and, and also seeing um, at one point me just standing there in a daze saying this is the only time in my life I'm going to have a one in eight chance of winning a million dollars. Definitely. But you, this... You'd be lying to say you didn't think yeah. about it, Mikey. I used to lay there at night just visioning what I'd do with a million dollars. Oh, whatever. Just laying in it. Yeah, because you thought you were going to win, didn't you? No, yeah, I didn't. You did. But also, it's this time, I think, in the house, for me personally, that it became it became the hardest. Mm. Like, it was a really hard slog, and I think it's really showing with these guys because mm. they're about to kill each other. $665,000, if it's going to remain at that amount, it's still a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Melanie and Hot Dogs, Kate and Tim... And Logan, David and Christy all got through to the next round by being the fastest to burst their orbs. Let's check out the Event Horizon down in the games arena. This is Big Brother. Round two is a space race. You will race from the green zone, use your space claw to retrieve five asteroids, place them in your bucket and return to the green zone. You must not use your hands. You will race tied together. The fastest team is through to the final round. Hot Dogs and Melanie prepare to race. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Man, I, can't, they're good. I can't believe how easily they're doing that. We did it earlier, didn't we, Mike? And it's really hard. Yeah, but we were falling over a lot and I was accidentally copping a feel on purpose. And you oh. used two weren't even playing a game. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. This, this is very hard, harder than that looks, I tell you. Hot dogs would be pretty happy about this. He's been flirting with Melanie all week. Yeah. Now he gets to give her a bit of a, a cuddle and run around and pick up rocks with a big stick. Yeah. Oh, oh. And see, Nelly see, went over then. Seeing as the whole household's kind of been, a bit, been on edge this week, we thought we'd make them up a task where they have to get close and love each other again. Good work, hot dogs. Look, he's carrying the dog. her. Hey. Nice. Well done. Good work. <laughs> Hot dogs and Melanie, leave your claw, bucket and tyres where you are and go to the red zone. Tim and Kate, to the green zone, pick up your claw and bucket and prepare to race. 
Wow, they just absolutely flew through that. We get used as crash test dummies for the Friday Night Live games, and, and it took us uh, a, a good 10 minutes to get through that course. Yeah. But then again, I have absolutely no coordination whatsoever. But, see, they had the strategy down pat because Hot Dogs lifted her and carried her the whole way through that, and that's the smartest way to do it, obviously, because you don't have to coordinate as much. I think there might have even just been a lot of chemistry there between the two. Mm. Well, they had a time there. Melanie and Hot Dogs' time was 42 seconds. Mm. And I I don't know if this next group, uh, I think it's Kate and Tim, or there's a bit of chemistry between them two. I think they could go all right. Oh, I think there is on Tim's side. I think there's a bit of love. <laughs> well, oh, the, stop the, it. The, the night before last, or if, if you watched today's Daily Show, you would have seen right at the very end, uh, uh, Kate and Tim were lying in bed and he was, he was kissing her back. And cuddling her. Did she know? It was more affectionate than usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was dead asleep. <laughs> she was having a crack still. <laughs> OK, let's go down to the games arena and see how Tim and Kate go. I'm going to fall This is Big Brother. The fastest team to collect five asteroids and return to the green zone is through to the final round. Kate and Tim prepare to race. Get up! I told you, she's telling him to get off. Notice in, in, in uh, the last couple, Hot Dogs was the leader of Melanie. Now, this time, Kate's leading kids. Kate, look at little Timmy. <laughs> little Timmy. <laughs> there you go. Well, I think it makes sense for the tallest of the two to have the little grabby, prongy, thingy, whatever it is. It, it's called a NASA space arm from a space shuttle. Oh. I just made Tim that up. Tim looks like Kate's son there and she's carrying him around the zoo. In one of those, like, hanger thingies. Like That's a so big pouches. baby. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this time's not looking too good. We're going to see a stack any second here, I think. Please, please. I have a feeling also that Tim just wants... He wants this moment to last. No, we won't get a... Go, Tim! We won't get a stack of your Christie's on. Oh, there you go. Moon rocks everywhere. <laughs> Tim did that on purpose. <laughs> this should be on uncut. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Tim and Kate, leave your claw, bucket and ties where you are and go to the red zone. Christy and Logan David to the green zone. Pick up your claw and bucket and prepare to race. <laughs> Nice work, but uh, I don't think they did as well as the uh, the first round, no, Pitsy. No, no, no. Not at all. Poor, poor Kate had to carry Tim around the whole course. <laughs> Kate and Tim's time was 59 seconds, and uh, <laughs> they they started out with uh, Kate leading the way, and then swapped towards the end. I think Tim seemed to uh, drive it home and do quite well. Well, next up we have uh, down there in the games arena is uh, Logan David, and who's that? He's travelling on to Christy. Think they might just be ready, but we're going to pause for a break. Why not cool your boosters and check your wormholes and join us when we come back? You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live, where we're celebrating the splendour of space. I'm Mike Goldman, joined by Lunar Eclipse, Briema, <laughs> and Lunatic, Fitzy Fitzgerald. So far, Melanie and Hot Dogs and Kate and Tim have moonwalked their way through the second round. Now it's the turn of Christy and Logan David. They're fighting to be half of the duo who will go through to the final. Who's going to do it, panel? Fill mm. me in. Come on. I'm going to back Christy and Logan David. Okay. Just Can be I different. Can I just say, I haven't got fired up at all this whole series. Mm -hmm. Right. But Dibba Dobba Christie this week has, uh, mm. look, she's gone down in my scale this week. I'm not very impressed with Dobbing her. What, she, know, what she's done to Kate mm. and Tim yeah. is disgraceful, I reckon. Mm. Look, I, and you don't know, snitch on your friends. No, and I do agree with you, actually, because it was in the beginning. Remember during the show, like in the very beginning, Christy was saying she hated bitchiness, she hated this, she hated that. Exactly. And she is the worst of them all now. She's lost a bit of trust. I think, oh, with Kate, definitely. Oh. Yeah, you, you're having a go. I think maybe she's just uh, hanging around the boys a bit much and just wants to be one of the boys, yes. if you know what I mean? You know, playing knuckles and rocking off and, you know, getting a nose flicked with Logan David and that silly game that they play. I think she just maybe, wants to be one that, of the boys. Maybe that's a tactic, though, and she thinks sticking with the boys is going to get her further because the girls keep getting voted out. Huh? Mm. Yeah, maybe you're but right. She, yeah, she is right. A, when it comes to Friday Night Live, she is a real trooper and she's always down to the last few. So have a look at what she's been like in the past weeks. Okay. Really want to win Friday night's challenges. For the past four weeks, I've made it to the finals. And uh, with me, 
If I want something, I'll try my hardest to get it, and that's when my competitive streak comes in. It's okay. It's okay. The secret to what I believe gets me this far is the determination, and before I go out, I usually psych myself up real positively. This is what I did to get in this house. Just every day, I'm going to get in, I'm going to get in, I'm going to get in. And if I just say, well, I'm going to win, hopefully it will um, happen, but everything happens for a reason, and yeah, that's just a goal for me. Well, one thing's for sure, she sure is determined. OK, last go on the front-to-front -front space race for Christy and Logan David. Let's go back down to the Games Arena. This is Big Brother. The fastest team to collect five asteroids is through to the final round. Christy, Logan, David, prepare to race. Good luck, guys. Christy is known for falling over. Could be interesting here to see if we... Have a stack or two? Yeah, well, look, it wouldn't really be Friday Night Live unless she does. I think every single week, without fail, she's given us a good stack. Good start by these two. Saucy Logan Greg is... Good uh, pick up, Dave. Sorry. Dave's pretty, uh, pretty strong. Good I think theory. he'll hold her up anyway. Well, he's a rugby player. He needs to pick up the ball every now and then. Good theory there. Chris is the only one that's put the bucket down really low, which makes sense. Yeah. This is a mm. good time. Come on. Come on. <laughs> They're going to fall over? <laughs> well done, Mary. Yeah, I've like they done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the best time. This is Big Brother. Christy and Logan David. Leave your claw, bucket, and ties and go to the red zone. Well done. Oh, that was really good. This is Big Brother. Hot Dogs and Melanie, you completed the course in 42 seconds. Tim and Kate, you completed the course in 59 seconds. Oh, can't. Christy and Logan David, you completed the course in 39 seconds. Christy, Logan, David, you will go head to head in the final round. All housemates to the holding area immediately. Well, there you go. Fantastic effort there from Christy and Logan, David. And of course, uh, if Logan, David wins Big Brother Friday Night Live, that means both of the Logans will go through to the reward room again. Again, and we haven't had yet that a con like consecutive winner two weeks in a row. I don't really care that David and Christy are going through to the next round. I just love seeing hot dogs loose. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see me? We shouted again. Yes, again. And I think Tim was the real winner because he got to hug Kate. Oh, he did. Mm. And fall on her at the end. I don't think he's off her yet. OK, Christy and Logan David are through to the next round. And you don't need a Hubble telescope to see that it's the final. Join us after the break. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live. It's a space theme tonight, and did you know that if we had the vacuum that exists in space here on Earth, that it would suck the filling out of a fruit pie from 40 metres? Oh, that's what? amazing Where piece of information, Mike. I've been to space. Anyway, astronomers amongst you probably worked out the intergalactic theme by the orb bursting and moonwalking rounds that we've had so far. Before the housemates learn whether the final involves Big Brother putting them in stasis for a hundred light years... <laughs> a hundred? Mm. No, just no, kidding. Right. It's not that. It's the point... <laughs> it's the point of this show, <laughs> which we want to explain right now, and to viewers from another galaxy as well. It's basically to turn what matters in the house to antimatter, to cause constellation to the weekly schedule and reverse the polarity of any relationships and alliances. So far, it's stuck its flag in the soil. Meanwhile, back in the final, Christy and Logan David are waiting to re-enter the atmosphere. How are they going to go panel? Mm, well, I, I think I'm going to back Logan David just because of Christy's past... 
you know, her history of dropping out in the finals. She's made it again. I know. She is a little trooper, Brie, and she's she, even though she's a dibber dobber, she's still a little yeah, trooper. So she's, she's done well. I, I hope she wins it tonight. The boys were in there last weekend. Mm. They've had their turn. OK, mm. so, you know, while we're talking about Christy and the Logans, we're, we're kind of losing sight of something that's been a running story ever since Big Brother Friday Night Live started. Poor old hot dogs. And we've got a little footage of him here missing out. It's, it's just disheartening. Look at him. <laughs> In the background, there he is, up the back. Very angry. The frustration, the anger. Will he win one before he leaves? <laughs> Do you know what? I hope he doesn't. Because <laughs> it gets funnier every week, Mikey. All right, well, it's final, ta- final time now, so let's climb on board the Lunar Module and cling on as we descend to the surface of the game's arena. Ooh. Oh, 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 this is Big Brother, and this is the final round. Housemates, to win, you must manoeuvre your Zorb, burst all your coloured balloons, go up the ramp, and dock in the crater. Christy, you will burst red balloons, Logan David, you will burst blue balloons. Housemates, climb into your Zorbs and prepare to race. And they're off in the Zorb balloons. They have to burst their balloons as quick as they can. These Zorb things are amazing. How fun do they look? Oh, they're great. Now, remember, they've got to get all their balloons, their coloured balloons, and then finish on the crater at the end, guys. Yeah, and try not to bust the other persons, because you're just going to be helping them, aren't you? Logan David is bursting the blue balloons, and Christy is bursting the red balloon. Do you know what? I'd be like Dodge. <laughs> Have a listen to the housemates down here. Listen to the encouragement. Now he's got to get up the crater here, David. Push, push, push. Have a run up, Dave. What is it to go now? Go, go, go. He's in the home stretch. Go, go, go. Ah. Nice work. Spectacular. <laughs> All right. That was gold. Too easy. <laughs> Logan, David, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Friday Night Live. So that means the Logans will be in the reward room once again. Wow. One step for Greg, the other step for Logan. <laughs> a giant leap for Logan. It's Logan's run tonight. It is too, Mikey. Great movie. That is wicked. Well done, that is wicked. This is Big Brother. Logan David, you are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Approach the podium and pick up your award. Oh, I'm going to choke him! Oh, you got his face in! Well done, mate. They are wicked. They are wicked. I just want to do somersaults in the puppy. How did you do it? Hey, just one you done you. Yes, there you go. Logan David, the intergalactic winner, once again on Big Brother Friday Night Live. That means his brother goes to the reward room with him because they are competing as one person in the Big Brother house. Who will they take? That is the question we'll be asking. But he has done so well right from the word go tonight when he was uh, in the team of Christy and Kate. Yes. Got them through, got Christy all the way through to the final round. And, uh, and also before that, when he was with Christy, they just killed it. And Christy pipped at the post again. She, yeah, well, she didn't do too well there. Not a lot of coordination, as we were no. talking about earlier. Usually she stacks it, but uh, if we're going to give Christy any points, she didn't fall on her ass tonight. So, well done, Christy. <laughs> no, she's done always well. competitive, well and I'm, I'm going to be very interested to see who the boys take into the rewards room tonight because I've got no idea. Um, I really think they should take Christy. Mm. Just to be nice. Uh, yeah, well, you never know. Well, I think we're just about to uh, go back down to the house and see how they're looking. Let's have a open the iris. Let's have a look at the housemates and see what they're up to at the moment. This is Big Brother housemates. You may now enter the house. I was stuck in that car. Very happy housemates, and what an incredible night here, Big Brother Friday Night Live. The space theme, it looked fantastic down there, didn't it?
Well done to them. Okay, the housemates are going back to the mothership for a quick meteor shower and a change. <laughs> We're going to take a break. But stay with us. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live, where Logan David has just won tonight's space theme night. The housemates are back in the house, showering down and generally recovering from the games. So while they're doing that, let's take a look back at this evening's events and see how he came to win. Bree, talk us through the first event, will you please? Yeah, well, the first event was the balloon busting. Mm -hmm. And the first replay I have for you is hot dogs absolutely screaming along. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh. He, I think he used he, his he space was thirsty. there. He was thirsty for it. I reckon he probably had the fastest solo run there. And uh, Ryan, oh. second round. I've no, got no, another one, actually. Another one. Another one. Another one, yeah. And, of course, we have Vesna, and she is using her bottom to its full extent. <laughs> Ready? Uh. And there oh. we go. It's a hard decision to make whether to go for the bum or the stomach. Which would hurt more? I think the stomach. It'd be like doing a belly flop. So those things, they really hurt when they explode on mm. your skin. OK, Fitzy, the next round. Round two was the asteroid pickup, mm. Mikey. And have a look at this one. <laughs> Mel and hot dogs running along here. Have a look at Mel's face. <laughs> look, she loves being close to hot dogs. She's happy. Every female in Australia would be, I think. Oh, come on. He's such a ladies' man. And, oh, gee, that was <laughs> Do hilarious. Do not put me in that category, please. Well, would you like to see another replay yes, then, Bree? Yes, thank you. OK, Timmy and Katie here running along. This is the home stretch. Look at Katie's face. And this is the big finish. Over the line. Bang. Yes, both cases the boys taking <laughs> advantage the of the ladies. Holding the ball, umpire. <laughs> and throwing the asteroids everywhere. And the final round was the big Zorb ball. Space balls out there. And the winner, of course, eventually Logan David. Let's take a look at the uh, big clash between the Zorb balls. Just as he was taking his final run. Up the ramp, you've got to get the run up. And he's just in over there. And the explosion. And the cameraman running over to get a good shot. There you go, mate. Mm -hmm. That was excellent. Well, what a great, great round of games tonight for the space theme. Let's, uh, while they're showering down and getting ready to announce who's going to be in the reward room tonight, let's talk about war in the Big Brother house. And when I say war, I mean the war between Tim. And Dean, it's been so full on this week. Almost every day they've been at it. Uh, Tim has been saying that Dean's got an ego the size of Germany. He's domineering. And uh, Dean's saying that Tim is conniving and sly. What is your take on the argument, guys? Well, me and Bree were actually having an argument before the show tonight about... She loves Dean. De Dean's no, her new hey, favourite. Yeah, it is. I, I, finally, after eight weeks, I've managed to pick a favourite. Because, to be quite honest... I found that I really enjoyed watching the show but don't like many of the housemates. And I know that's judgmental considering I don't know them personally. But from what I'm seeing, I didn't particularly like them. And I really think that Dean has come across as being arrogant because he doesn't like the people he's in there with. No, well, what about, like, Timmy and Kate? They're good people. Did you see the yeah, Daily are. Show tonight? Mm -hmm. Dean thinks he controls every argument in the in the house. He got his dax pulled down in front of the class by no. Tim tonight. He, yeah, just, he did, nailed him. He just stands up for what he believes in. Do you think Tim, in that argument this afternoon, did he uh, look a little bit, little bit condescending or patronising or pompous no. yes. even? Yes, yes, very <laughs> patronising. Not at all. Not at all. And Dean thinks he can win every argument and Tim just put him back in his place. And wasn't it funny... After the argument, who did Dean go to to, to bitch about? Mm. Christy. Yeah, Christy. The other smartest one in the house. Well, Christy loves the boys. She always back them up. And Christy doesn't seem to be uh, yeah. best mates with, uh, oh, in, in the with Tim. In the words of Tim, you reckon you give me something fresh to work with? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. all right. Fight up there, Breezy. Uh, yeah. Bri Amer. Hey, they're two really Another intelligent side. guys. Two really intelligent guys having debates. Like, no, oh. one intelligent guy oh, and, the, and the other one got flogged. Oh, yeah, yeah, like... Dean, like, like Dean is the alpha really, male in the house. You know, all the boys do follow him and and uh, and appreciate him. Yeah, he's mm. the he's the strongest, probably the best looking, and and yes. you know he's um, and he's got a big ego. A lot of other Tim things pointed that the, it other out. Boys don't have. And yeah. he got smashed tonight. I'd have a big ego if I look like that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we didn't have time for it last week, but it's back as usual tonight. The intellectual equivalent of biting down hard on your own lightsaber. I refer, of course, to I don't go to university's greatest living thinker, Professor Fitzy Fitzgerald, and his theories about house activities. Professor, show us your fundamentals. <laughs> Professor Fitzy's fundamental facts. Yeah. All right, Mikey. 
I've been crunching the numbers on my calculator watch this week and I've noticed something about who wins and who they take into the rewards room. You may call it Fitzgerald's Theorem and it goes like this. Only if a male winner invites a male guest into the rewards room does it guarantee that no eviction for either of them is for this week. You got no idea? Well, let me explain. All right, then. Here we go. When Glenn won, he took in Logan. Well, actually, he took in both of them, really, because they were swapping in the first week. When Gianna won, she took in Christy. Hey, and where's Gianna now? When Rachel won, she took in Tim, but she's no longer. And so it goes on. And you'll find that my theory, I mean, theorem... Works every week but one. Look, even last week, the Logans took in hot dogs and all three of them are sitting pretty. So here's the hot tip for you. Unless there's two boys in the rewards room, one of them will be singing for their supper and will get the chop tonight. Just you watch and see, Mikey. I think I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I understand your theorem. So if a bloke takes a bloke, then neither of them will get evicted. Is that right? Yes, yeah, I think. Talk about, talk about outer space theme, like the space between your ears, Frizy. It's a good theorem. I'm going to back it up. Oh, my God. Uh, I love your theorems, and, uh, and thanks for giving them to us again. Now I want another theorem from both of you. Who should stay and who should go this week? Starting with who should stay, Bree. Um, I think Kate should stay. Vesna, hot dogs, or Kate? Vesna, hot dogs, or Kate? Definitely Kate. Kate. All right. Yeah. And then the other end of the scale? Um, Vesna. Who should go? Yes. Oh, that's Vesna. a tough one. Get rid of the Winger. The dogs has fired up a bit the last couple of weeks, and I think it's going to be very close here to those two. Can't pick it. And he's been <laughs> Dean's messenger a couple of times in that whole Dean argument you saw at the dinner table the other night. He, what is uh... with all the messenger stuff? It's so primary school. It's ridiculous. Well, that's Dean again, your favourite. No, all oh come on. I mean, the whole house arguing this week. It has been so primary school. Yeah, that's your favourite, Dean. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, so there's Vesna, hot dogs, or Kate. The question is, who do you want out of the house this Sunday? There's a big choice this week, but remember, don't vote for the house you want to live in. Vote for the house you want to watch. Sometimes you might want to watch the ones that you love watching, and can I've just completely stuffed it. You what? might want to... How is it? You watch the ones you like, but the ones you hate... You might like to watch. Yeah, so... Some, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. it. Well Here done. are the numbers. Here we go. <laughs> to dump the dog, dial 1902 555 or SMS hot dogs to 191010. To fire Kate from a cannon, dial 1902 555 or SMS Kate to 191010. To elbow Vesna, dial 1902 or SMS Vesna to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents. More from mobiles. Voting closes 8pm Sunday Eastern Standard Time. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. What are the housemates doing? Can we have a little look Can at them I right now? Can I just say something first? Yeah. Um, it will be really interesting to see who Logan David picks tonight because only yesterday he was saying whoever won the Friday night games tonight he thought should take in Vesna. So it'll be interesting to see if he comes through with that. Seriously? Yeah, at the dinner table. He, yeah, he put it out. Right. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen. Well, it could be interesting. Okay, back in the Big Brother house. Big Bro's about to call Logan David to the diary room to find out who he's going to take into the rewards room with him tonight. Who will it be before we go to the break? Let's shoot back to the house. This is Big Brother Friday Night Live. Everyone has said he's not going to win it. I'm asking because if you think I thought the country fair was awfully good. Yeah, country fair was cool. The finales are always excellent. That one going into the fan was great. Oh, that was hilarious. I'd heard of Dunkin' Machine and been on one before, but those last two, I had. I mean, I've never. It would even have thought of that. That's what I just said. If you can imagine getting two of those, if they said to me before, we're going to get two of these big balls, we're going to put them in this little arena and have a chat, like you know, and make. I always said. No way. What could you possibly do with like, to make it good? I think it dipped it out for Eating for no, we got the circle. Well, that was oh, all right. It was pretty interesting. Mm. We had to do something pretty strange. Yeah, like eat. The circle finale was, was, was good. You had to eat crap. We had yeah. heaps of fun watching. Yeah. Greg, no, I didn't that was. Um, I was just saying to Dave though, you wouldn't <laughs> want any kind of incline. Any kind of incline doing those balls. Like imagine if. Shot. Like a oh, wedding no, 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 out at some, one. you know, well, like, like in some pizza. up in the mountains oh, or something. Not stop it. No, there's no, there's no way there's you could. No do you know what I mean? It. it has to be I've dead flat. No way. You shouldn't go down there. In New Zealand, they do it. And you had to go down there. Channel 9 footy shots. Massive fill. 
Like that is your sport. I saw it once. I saw it. It's not too bad. Because you just bounce. You roll with it. You end up flipping around like slime. That's what I was going to say. You wouldn't be able to stay straight. You end up just tumbling. Yeah, you slip around. You slip inside like. Going up, going down. It's like on this huge incline. I saw it like a world record attempt for one on TV for the for the biggest hill, steep biggest steepest hill. You can you can do them all through New Zealand and stuff. Those all the time. But yeah, world extremes. The guy went on the biggest hill you have ever seen and he had to have his hands and legs in it so he'd spin with the ball because if he didn't, then he would have just died. But um, they reckon that the... The, the G's that he would have been hitting would have come so close to ripping his... Could have ripped an arm or a leg off, they reckon. Yeah. That's how nuts it was. speed skiing? Yeah. Isn't that when they start right there and they just go straight? The guy go... with one leg. The Aussie guy with one leg. Yeah, champion skier. He's won, he's, won, he's won all the gold medals this for the This is Big Brother. Um, Logan's to the diary room. And, and all other housemates remain on the lounge. He's got one leg. I spotted too. He's nuts. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Tonight's games had an extraterrestrial space kind of theme. Logan David won, and he's just been invited into the diary room to reveal who he's going to take with him into the rewards room tonight. Panel, is he going to take Besna? His brother has to go, obviously. Well, it was funny that you brought it up before, Bree, about uh, David saying this afternoon that uh, whoever goes into the rewards room should take in Vesna. Yes. We've got some footage of it here. Let's have uh -huh. a look at it from today's Daily Show. Win. Please, please, please. Whoever wins, take Vess because she's been complaining about it. And me. All right, fair enough. <laughs> We'll want, do paper you? up. Yeah, Mate, you have been complaining about it. So I just said, whoever wins, take this. It's up to whoever wins. Whoever wins, up to win. whoever wins can do whatever they want. Who are you going to take if you win, Vess? Yeah, Vess. You will not take a man in there. If they haven't been, yes, I will. No. That's easy to say. Uh, you've all been. Don't lie you to win. make You're your not case lying. look better. Just... I know I'm lying. Oh, if I had to. And that quick, snappy remark. How would you accuse me of something like that? Why? Just don't talk to me. It's true. Shut up. We annoy you, Bess. Why don't you write a book about it? I wouldn't wait, I, I would, would not waste my time writing a book about you, Bess. Well, no, because no one would buy it. Stop it. No, I won't stop it. No, here we go. I won't stop it. I'm not going to stop it. You can't tell me to stop it. <laughs> we don't mean to laugh, but it's just funny listening to him. That's hilarious. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at hot dogs. She's not laughing at you, Vess. You just really, well, you are in. Mm. Go on, need some more. Stop it! Yep. I'm not talking to you for five God, minutes. God, all three of you started me at the same time, and I'm just sit here and just. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, just stop it, Vess. Who where do you, where do you mean get off? Where do you get off and just stop it where do you get off? Certainly not with you. Just shut up! Put him boom. I can see how she gets a point because there's three of us all having a crack. But she oh, but where does it start from? It starts from the rewards room. Her oh, saying, yeah. Me. Yeah, like I said, who would want to sit in a room with her for three days? She would you get everything in that room. She'd find something. Quick. Oh no, it'll be. Oh, I was only. No, two. That's useless. If I win, I'm going to get up and go. And I'm going to take. Not you, best not. And. And just after that, after her lying on the bed about five minutes later, Hot Dogs went in and comforted her and gave her a cuddle. And, you know, but then at the same time, he didn't say sorry or anything like no. that. He said, uh, oh. you know, Vess, it's not always about you, is pretty much what he was saying. Well, and so they, he, so he they talks continued himself the up, argument. Talks himself up in front of the boys, all tough guy, paying her out, and then mm. goes in when no one's looking and goes, oh. Keep in mind, this was all started and all centred around the rewards room. This mm. is the kind of drama that this show causes. And it was only uh, Logan David saying, oh, I'm going to take Vesna just to, to stop her whinging. And then... And 
turns out that he wasn't going to take her yeah, anyway. Yeah. He was just frustrating her and annoying her and making her upset. He's actually going to tease her by the sounds of it if he mm. d- if he does. See, I don't know who's worse, hot dogs or Vesna, and I missed that bit with David. I must have went over my head earlier. Mate, they'd make a great couple, I reckon, because okay. they fight like cat and dog. Well, one thing's mm. for sure, it's going to be interesting who the Logans take to the rewards room with them tonight. Let's go across to the house and find out. Logans. Hey, brother. Brother. Congratulations. You are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Thank you very much, big brother. Thank you. As the winner, you will have access to the rewards room for the next two nights. You may invite one other housemate. You have 30 seconds to discuss your decision. You won't mate, you big. Um, I'll take Dean, big brother. I suppose because you gave Tim the three points off. Yeah. So how I'm doing it. Yep. And why are you choosing Dean? Um, the reason why I'm choosing yeah. Dean, oh, I think I'm fairly close to him in this house. And, um, I mean, Hot Dogs was in there last week. Um, we helped Tim out by taking three points off him. So it's pretty much only fair that um, Dean gets a go. And you know, he's a pretty good mate of mine, I consider him. So, yeah, I'm taking Dean. Logans, take your cards and inform the housemates of your decision. Thanks, big brother. Thanks, big brother. Take them both, go on. Sat there for, we just sat there. We sat there for five minutes. Sat there for five minutes. Oh, really? Summer night. Is it Melbourne, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, day. 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 Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it. Daddy. Yep. I mean, one time they've got. Oh, have fun. Yeah, we will. Get here. Please have a chocolate have a for me. Time. Can you think of me with your chocolate? Go crazy. Yeah, we're sat there for about four minutes. See you boys. See you boys. See you boys. See you boys. Remember the dog? Oh, yeah. Remember the dog? Oh, yeah. This is Big Brother. Big Brother will inform you when the room is open. Oh, they're removing alcohol. Sorry, guys. We won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. Well, I won't miss them. Cheers, Mummy. Hey, I've got it all good. Oh, great. I've got the bed to myself. Yes. So do oh, I. Yeah, I've been farting oh, yeah, bad too. too. <laughs> you won't both sleep yeah. in, will you? Do you reckon we can leave? Yeah, we're in your girls' house tonight. Hang on. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, we did hay dogs. We were there. We all slept there the last night. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was all right, wasn't it? Well, we said we'd take a mattress. Oh, yeah, you all sleep there, don't you? Yeah, we might as well. Take a mattress in there. No, you I wonder if I'm sleep on the couch. You should have both there. should have had the earphone thing now. Might be the Yeah. Yeah. Man, we sat there for five minutes. Oh, yeah. That's all right. There's we'll nothing. Just be we yeah, were, we talking. Yeah, talking about if it's live or not. Yeah, it would be. It'd be live, but not a live show. Sure, but yeah. that'd be. Mm. Yeah. It's the delay. Yeah, they're going to have a tear. They need to. No, we're going to have a party. Look at the girls. Why not? Why not? Wow. This is Big Brother. Logan's and Dean. The rewards room is now open. Only tuna bake for seven now. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's going to be so much oh, fun for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you'll miss it. Oh, it's saucy, eh? Yeah. David, are you going to miss me? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Great. Top, I'll mate. I'll have the job of the um, spray can tonight for best, OK? I don't know where it is. <laughs> for the aerosol. I don't know. I honestly don't know where it is. Oh, Back home again. <gasps> Look at this. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks, Hayes, man. No, you're Cheers, dude. Oh, what? Thanks, Hayes. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's what awesome. Oh, there's oh, new ones. ones. Is there new videos? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there is two. Good on them. Wicked, I haven't seen any of them. Oh, they're all. Like, I haven't seen any of them. I haven't seen any of them. Look at all this. this. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, Space food Mind if I was here, mate? Yes, there is. Yes. Oh, I actually really Should want we have it. a look and... Um, is that a cake? Or oh, my God. Jeez, they lobbed us up this week. Jeez, yeah, because I suppose we... Have a look. Pissed a moan. Oh, yeah. Same. Same. The same amount of grog every week. It will be. That's all right, though. Look at the starbursts and... We might have a beer. Probably oh, no, I had that wine. Well. Wow. <laughs> oh, all very good. God, oh, this is enjoyable. Rewards room room. Bounty. Oh, how good is that? Should I Check this in. <laughs> Put the ice cubes in there for you. What is this? Oh, that's fake. Thanks for bringing me in, bro. Was... How cool is that? Was it? Well... Hot dog was in here last loop. Tim had three points. We took mm. three points and it was only fair. 
Do you want me to get you a drink or something? We'll have a bit. Ooh. No, we'll have that shit first, right? Yeah. Mate, it's, it's so hard when you're Christy's there and it's like... Yeah, but... Dude... End of the day. End of the day. You can't tell it's me. Certainly cheaper we can listen to... Uh-uh. Thing we were... Oh. Mel said, I said, I said, if she was... No. A, yeah, we're not free up here. Yeah, we need no, what you do? No, we two just... people just listen to one ear. Okay. And you've got three cassettes. So we can all sit there and two. You can all listen. Mate. So I killed that bloody maze thing. Oh, you smacked it. Yeah, that's as soon as I saw that, it's all about this man. She's gone. It's a bit hard, but at the end of the day, mate. What can you mm. do? No one should Balance, do that. I didn't even touch one of her red ones. I feel like shit. Great news, bro. <laughs> do you want to get another glass, Dino? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How much, mate? What was that? I was in lot. Great news. Mm. And all new DVDs. I'll give it. Oh, That's what I'm happy about, mate. Oh, no. Mate, we'll enjoy it. <laughs> I want to... I just... Once I taste it last week, I went... That's going to hurt then. Oh, I'd be... I'd be, like... Well, there you go. The Big Brother space theme for Friday Night Live has turned into a Big Brother bloke fest, blokes world in the rewards room for the weekend. But no surprises there, really. You know, Logan, David and Dean are best buddies. They've, they've shared the same bed for the first mm. six weeks of Big Brother and they work out in the gym every day. They're always spending the most time together. I reckon they're probably uh, the best two bloke friends in the house. Mm. Yeah, definitely. No, they are very, very close. And by the sounds that they'll be mates forever, those, uh, those three there, but... Yeah, it would have been good to see Christy go in there or something. Wouldn't I it? agree. Something different. I definitely agree. Poor Bessner. Yeah. Hasn't been in the rewards room oh, yet. Three guys in there and misses out. After all that teasing and making a cry. OK, well, it leaves me just enough time to say thank you very much to Bree and thank Bitsy. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah. Well, you're here all the time now. You're your yeah, host as well. Much. Well, that's So right. you don't really need and to thank me. Too, so yeah. right. Thanks for Did coming you, tonight, Mike. You watch, you get paid. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, my watch continues later on the evening while these guys are out partying. I'll be back at midnight around on up late. Why not join me? And don't miss a special daily show this Sunday at 6.30 and the eviction show straight after it at 7.30 with Gretel Colleen. Hi, Gretel. Hello. Oh, she's here somewhere. Uh, if you want to continue watching all the action in the house now, log on to www.bigbrother.3mobile.com.au or catch it on live cam TV 24-7 on your 3 mobile. How's this? Fitzy's bet me 50 bucks that I can eat an apple through a tennis racket, so I'm off for a warm-up with, <laughs> uh, with my uh, trusty old Rod Laver and my pink lady. Meanwhile, remember this bit of useful advice. Never tie your shoelace in a revolving door. We're back next Friday. Till then, see ya. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad, that was yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Good try. Oh, yeah. That was very enjoyable. Same as all, same first all last week. Okay. Is it? <laughs> No. Oh, well. Mate. That's the way she goes. Mm. Thank you very much. Never leave the Big Brother house. Watch 24-7 live cam TV on your free mobile or at bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. Up next, the MTV Movie Awards. Yeah, they both go in, yeah. Oh, it was so much fun in there last week, having three people in there. Well, it was really, really good. Yeah. I wonder if I could just come up. Could you put that one down? Why did we get alcohol last Friday? Because we had to go. Because I looked at it from first. So, I'm thirsty for something to You know why? This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.